so now we'll talk about what is a database i will define a database for you of course uh, you may have heard what a database is and you may have read what a database is now i will be talking of a database in the context of web based database application and i will also describe what a web is and i will show you that although a database and a web they are developed by people with different backgrounds in terms of education in terms of their professional background but there are a lot of similarities between a database and a web and those similarities need to be capitalized when we are developing web based database applications so let me go over these points one by one so databases handle large amounts of structured data this is the point now uh, if i have to manage something and it is for my individual level then maybe i can do it on a piece of paper right but if i am doing it for my class for my department for my university then of course i am looking at large amount of data so that's why the databases are there and the data is structured so that it fits in nicely in the structure or the format for which the application is designed now remember one thing some people call a collection of data as a database some people call an application which is used to develop say accounting system as a database and some people call the application which is developed for this purpose so data then may be oracle or informix and then is the accounting application databases can change quickly and unpredictably now if you consider the case of a class the students who register in a course maybe one or two students drop out maybe one or two students add up but that is not the case for the visitors who are coming on a website there are millions of visitors who are coming on a website they may or may not be repeat vis uh, repeat visitors so the point i'm trying to make over here is that unpredictably the amount of data can change databases data needs to be selected and displayed in different ways for example i would like to see my customers based upon their age based upon uh, the how long they have been with me based upon their geographic location so i would like to see the data displayed in different ways then of course there are tools this point over here which are used to manipulate the data the programmer should not be spending lots of time writing low level code to extract data to generate those figures so so the programmer should be working on more productive tasks and databases contain metadata metadata is the data about the data itself how many tables are there what are the names of the attributes it is gender or it is sex or what are the type of uh, the data type the age is stored as an integer the age is stored as a real number and, and other figures also databases contain validation and integrity features so once the data goes in such the database only using the right privileges and using the certain language one should be able to change the contents of the database that is the data integrity that is the data integrity and the data validation is that if i am entering some unique data uh, as a primary key or the id or the customer id that is unique then that uniqueness should be validated at the entry point Databases are often shared across time and space that is the purpose of a database in a global environment in the web that is there and of course the data can be related to one another it can be related to one another the point over here is that if i have the customer data then i can have the transaction data of those customers in a database not the inventory data that may not be very much related and of course uh, databases contain multiple instances of similarly structured data i have the data about my customer who has been purchasing different items so i have other customers who are purchasing other set of different items so so that are all related databases can be normalized normalized means that i need to convert i need to store the data in a certain way such that it can be accessed efficiently it can be accessed quickly there are no anomalies Uh, there is a space savage 
and so on. Now, if you look at the web, right, we can see that there are many similarities in the web as compared to the database, not as opposed to a database, but as compared to a database, large amounts of data is handled. That is the purpose of creating the web, which was created in 1960s, connecting academia, connecting research organizations, connecting defense organization. And it has to be displayed in different ways. Now, metadata is also there, which is the data which you don't see. And finally, the purpose of the web was to share the data. And that is the purpose why we develop web-based database applications.